Hello, welcome to another video. Today, uh, we're trying something completely different. Um, we're in our kitchen, obviously. And it's an episode of We're Not Really Strangers, but... So we have the cards here. Yeah, but we're not really strangers to cooking jollof in the house. That's basically it. So it's not a food tutorial. Um, it's an activity vlog. So while we're cooking, we're going to be answering some questions from We're Not Really Strangers, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, my name is Kwame. <laughs> I'm Elaine. It's a bit weird. We've never done something like this before. And there's Caleb behind the camera. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, um, we're cooking our jollof. We're starting. We've already done some bits already, um, steamed our meat and whatnot. But, like I said, it's not a cooking tutorial. Yes. So we're just cooking jollof for some questions. And asking some questions and answering them. So, that's it. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, it's okay. Yes. Ready for the first question? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is a deep one. Deep, okay. Yes. What did the people who raised you teach you about love? How has that shaped your views on love today? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so the people who raised me, um, and I think most people watching from what I would term as the traditional African home can relate to this one. Um, mm -hmm. For us, love was more care. Care in terms of um, providing food, shelter, clothing. Okay. That was most African parents' expression of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think with my protective nature mm -hmm. and making sure maybe the people around me are okay or taken care of or they are feeling fine is how I mostly express love I've come to realize. Mm -hmm. um, but my view of love as of now, I think, has changed a bit. Okay, how come? Um, because I've learned more, I mean, I've learned to know that it's more than providing Mm -hmm. um, love is also realizing that um, if the other person, if you wrong the other person, for example, you need to apologize. Um, love is <laughs> which wasn't done by uh, when the you're when you're growing up. No, nobody really okay. apologizes like that. Mm -hmm. um, love is uh, asking questions. You know, finding out how people actually really are. Yeah. And listening to whatever is on your mind. Um, love is being there not necessarily in a provision um, aspect like i already mentioned but mm -hmm. just uh, also loving the other person and their love language as you know it you know so that there are different levels or there are a lot of layers to love than what you've seen or house. i grew up knowing yeah yeah which is provide and then the rest they can shut up about it. Yeah. So yeah, a lot has changed on that front. But I'm sure they did what they also knew, right? Yeah. So you can't really fault them. Yeah. For that kind of love, yeah. So. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So this is your question. What was the worst date you've ever been on, and why? Worst date. Do you remember any instance you went somewhere? You thought it was like, oh, this is this is the worst. I went to the movie once with a guy, and it was a really nice movie. It's called Dope, and it was so cool. And then he didn't understand it. <laughs> he was just like flat about it. I was really like, oh. That is your and worst date. Yeah, I didn't go on so many dates. I think that's why. What is your worst date then? Okay, I guess it's the same. I think I've not gone out on so many dates either. Mm -hmm. But, oh uh, yeah, come to think of it. What is something new you've learned about yourself recently? Oh. Yeah. Something I've learned about myself recently. I don't learn a lot of things about myself. Um, something new I've learned about myself recently. Well, maybe the what? funk in your creative process. 
or you don't want to talk about it. But is this something I've learned about myself? Is it a character trait or is it something? No, I mean, it's something, it doesn't have to be about the, okay, like it so, can be a face in life. Like okay, so, I've yeah, that okay, so I've learned that, uh, okay, so I, I'll, I'll go at the freelance tangent that, okay. yeah, you, you're not always going to be in the mood to create or do stuff. Mm -hmm. And even if you are, um, at first when I started, I wanted to, go alone and go, go, go. But then I'm also realizing that if you want to do bigger things, especially for film, mm -hmm. you have to just go with people. So patience when it's necessary is something that you will learn. Yeah. Like, you know, it, 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 situations can force patience out of you, mm -hmm. especially when you really want the thing. So that's, I think, the thing I've learned about myself. It's not bothering me as much as it would have before, like with my anxiety and everything. Yeah. Now I'm learning to leave people do their part of the process in the team. So yeah, that's a new thing that I have learned. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Patience. Patience, yeah. Has sex. <laughs> Why do you always get to sex questions? <laughs> Has sex ever been a deal breaker in your past relationships? Explain. Uh, no. As in, what did you mean? Sex Has it ever been a deal it, breaker? Like that it's been that bad or... Yeah, kind of like, you know, the person, like, you know, enough for you to want to dump the person. Mm. No. Never? And I mean, of course, in the beginning, when you just get to know each other, you don't know what the other person likes and... Dislikes? Yeah, so you have to get to know each other. Yeah. But I, I always saw potential. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You always saw potential in people. Yeah, like people can learn things, right? Yeah, especially... I'm not expecting you to be a magician and suddenly know how my body works. Like we just met, so... Yeah. So you are more of the patient one who would uh, talk and teach. Yeah, the person but don't we all have to do that? Because yeah. in the end, we all have our own bodies and we all have our own things we like and things we don't like. So You're very kind. I like that. So I prefer to bake my jollof. Ever since I discovered that when you bake it, I mean, it doesn't stick. Um, and it still comes out exactly how you would want. I wash my rice, I put it in the casserole, add my stew, and then it goes in the oven with a little bit of water. So that is how I prefer to cook jollof. We wait for our jollof to be done. And then we eat. Yeah? <laughs> All right. So yes, while the thing is in the oven, what's a non-negotiable in your life? Non-negotiable. Yeah, something that's but if like you would ask me to give it up. My dog. Wow, already? <laughs> yes, after <laughs> once, I cannot go without her. Um, that I could not be with somebody that would want to spend every minute with me. I need to see okay, my so own friends as well. So your non-negotiable is like having your own space and personal time. Yes, like if a person would want to go with me everywhere, I would get a bit like, mm -hmm. I would get like, no. Because I need but to are, there, are, there, are there people who want to go everywhere with you? Or just spend the time with you all the time? People want to spend time with me? <laughs> no, I'm just saying... No, like I mean as a lover. I thought it was for... This is a dating yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. No, but I've heard stories. Oh, wow. That, you know how sometimes when people get together and then the only thing they do is being together? Yeah, and they no. just block out everybody else. No, I don't do that. I yeah. don't tolerate that either, so... Okay. Yeah. You pick. 
<laughs> When's the last time you ghosted someone and why? Uh, when was the last time I ghosted someone? I don't think I've ever done ghosting. I'm the kind of person who, if the vibe is not right, or if, for example, the relationship is one-sided, which I find that even in friendships sometimes is often, you know, I'm the one texting, you know, the one checking up. Um, if I feel that way that I'm the one putting up more effort, mm -hmm. I'll let you know several times. It's more like, this is what's happening, this is what's happening, this is what's happening. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm just letting you know that it's not fun being the only person carrying conversations, checking in and everything. So you know a lot of times, enough times, so when you don't hear from me again, it's not ghosting in that sense. Yeah. So it's not to the point where you wonder, ah, what did I do? Yeah. And the person is not texting or calling me anymore. I think so. it's very rude to ghost. It's very rude. That's why I would rather tell you to your face that, I mean... And if it was something related to uh, something you did or something that's a deal breaker for me or I don't enjoy in my interaction with you, I'll just let you know. I don't ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me pick one. Maybe one more. Should have been the last one. W wow. <laughs> sex question? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's no sex. What about me intrigued you besides my physical... My very handsome appearance. It wasn't, it wasn't physical <laughs> for me, you know? The guy, the guy behind the camera rolled his eyes. <laughs> um, I mean, we talked a lot, right? Yeah. I think I liked how your mind works and we had a lot of long conversations. And I think it just flowed, kind of. So I like that. And I liked it when you smiled because normally you're always That's like, physical. No, but I mean, I think it's more about showing more ease and yeah. comfort and so it's physical, but the reaction is not only physical, right? Yeah. It's not only I enjoy looking at it, I just thought what it does to you is nice. Yeah, the way you open up is nice. That's good. Yes. Should we do final question? Okay, you want me to read it? Yeah, you pick the final question. What do your friends know about me, if anything? Do, do, do my friends know you? No. <laughs> do your friends know me? Uh, so my friends, um, yeah, they know you. And you're even friends with some of them, so... Um, but in uh, the beginning, maybe, what did you tell them? In the beginning, um, yeah, so I in the beginning... this lady at work, or what did you say? Yeah, so this lady at work that I really like, and we talked over beer at Republic. And again, um, I think you also said something like that in your previous answer, like how her mind works. And, you know, she, was, she sounded very mature and I liked it. It was easy to speak to her as well. And yeah, so they knew that you were a really kind person or a nice person at least per the interaction. interaction. Yeah. yeah, and it was, it was yeah, really nice when I told my friends about it, or my friend about it. Yeah, but now they do know you, even if they don't know anything at all, they watch our videos sometimes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Everybody knows me now because of the video. Yeah, so, yeah. There's a lot more questions we could ask, but we're leaving them for our next month's episode. So for now, we'll wait for our jollof. We shall eat and call it a day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, we can do something activity-based like this again. Yeah, it wasn't the <laughs> easiest thing to film, but I'm glad it's coming out okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.